Hey guys, Crewman here, and I hope you guys are staying warm because it is really cold out, but at least it's cold and we know it's cold. And what I'm getting at is, right now GPU prices look okay, but I'm telling you, underneath the surface they're rising and things don't look good, especially in the high end and the low end. Um, I said last video that you have 45 days to buy a new graphics card. In my humble opinion, I would say you have about probably like 30 days left, maybe 20. You don't have that much time. And if you can, as you can see right here, just look above me, you can see that the market, the, the prices of graphics cards are going up. Uh, in today's video, we're going to compare the five major sites. We're going to compare Best Buy, Newegg, Amazon, Micro Center, and I also throw an NVIDIA Marketplace in there, and there's a reason for that. What I do want to say, though, in regards to Micro Center, I understand that not everybody lives close to a Micro Center, but Micro Center is very useful because it's the largest brick and mortar store in the U.S. They get a lot of stock, and they show their supply, so we at least can see their supply numbers because we don't see supply numbers from everywhere else. Because I understand that not everybody lives by a Micro Center, I have the cheapest places you can buy said graphics cards in green, and I don't have Micro Center included. So if you live by a Micro Center, generally that is your best buy. They, they have Best Buy, get it? But they generally have the cheapest prices. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna get to this. I do this probably. Uh, I'm gonna do this probably every two to three weeks for the next month or two, and then I'll probably go back out to like a month or so. So if you like content like this, please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, this video is not sponsored. I'm still working on grabbing sponsors. But if you do want to support the channel, uh, I'll have purchase links linked down below for these graphics cards, and I have Amazon affiliate links. If you buy off any of that, it, I get money and I put it right back into the channel. That's how I acquire graphics cards that I use strictly for testing. All right, so without further ado, let's get to it. Let's start with the RTX 5090. Okay, so I've been screaming from the hills that the 5090 is no longer buy, you, can, you can't buy it under three grand. Well, we are lucky. Best Buy somehow has the MSI Gaming Trio at $2,500. That is a guaranteed buy. It's the best deal you're gonna get. And you're not gonna get anything close. Basically, after that, you've got water-cooled options and the Astral. At the water-cooled options are about thirty-three thousand to thirty-one, and the Astral is thirty-three fifty. So what I'm telling you is, if you don't buy twenty-five hundred dollar RTX fifty-ninety now, you're never going to get a chance to do it. Uh, it's pretty amazing that it's still in stock. I think people are kind of like feeling better that it's available, or maybe the AI demand is down a little bit, or maybe there's just not enough money to spend right now. But I'm telling you. Once this thing is gone, we are going to quickly be at the age of 3350 is the MSRP. And obviously that's literally $1,350 more than MSRP. So I'm telling you, if you want a 5090 and you're being greedy because you want to pay MSRP, those days are gone, plus MSRP is not real anymore. Buy this $2,500 one or forever hold your peace. This is the last option until we hit 3350 and once those are gone you're hitting four grand buy this and say thank you use your best buy credit card get points this is not me telling you to use a best buy credit card but this is just my opinion if you want a 5090 that's your best bet all right next we've got the 5080 the 5080 is actually skyrocketing in price you could easily have picked this thing up for almost 900 dollars a month ago as i did with my msi uh with my msi inspire now, there are $1,300 everywhere. There are two exceptions. You can get the MSI 5080 Shadow for $1,100 on Newegg, but once that's gone, that's it. And for some reason, the, MS, the RTX 5080 Founders is in stock at NVIDIA.com. I just feel like people don't know it's there. Uh, or I feel like maybe the demand for the 5090s isn't quite as high, but I can tell you this, guys. The AI farmers are starting to look at the 5080s, and they're starting to consider them. So if you want a 5080 because you can't afford a 5090 because, you know, the cheapest 5090 is literally $1,500 more than a 5080 right now, you're going to want to get one because, as you'll see at a later video this week, the 4080, or the 4090, I mean, is gone. So the only high-end graphics card you have for high-end Halo skewed 4K gaming is the 5080 basically if you want the best in ray tracing and raster. So uh, I would buy that MSRP 59, 5080 Founders on NVIDIA Marketplace. I think it's a phenomenal deal. Uh, if not, you're looking at $1,300. And I 
don't know what the demand is going to be like at $1,300, right now at least. But I would guess that once the market gets incredibly bad, like February, March-ish, I think you're going to be pe see people okay spending $1,400 on a 5080. It was a little dicey in the beginning um, last year, but we were kind of old. We didn't know that the market was going to be like this. Once you see RAM prices go astronomically high and... Uh, now that everybody kind of accepted that the that the Super Series is killed, if we hear rumors about the 6000 Series getting delayed, and I'm not saying we will, but I'm saying if we do, I think you're going to see people okay with spending fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars on a 5080 because that's going to be the only thing that people can buy. So if you were on the fence about high end gaming and twenty five hundred dollars is too much for you, the 5080 at MSRP, this could be your last chance to get it, and I think it's a good buy. I really do. So. Again, the 5080 and the 5090, I think, are smoke and mirrors. I think once these two SKUs go away, I think you were at the land of $3,300 5090s and $1,300 to $1,400 5080s, and I don't think we're going back. So if you want high-end NVIDIA, this is your last chance, I think. All right, the next one we have is the 5070 Ti. Now, the prices are kind of stable. I think the 5070 Ti is a solid card but I think it's essentially basically like a 4080 Super, which isn't, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing, uh, but I would think that you could get better and I would think that you could get better from in, from AMD. So I would actually skip the, the 5070 Ti. I just don't, I don't think it's worth it if we're being quite honest with you. There seems to be a lot of supply at this price point, which is a good thing. So if you don't want to buy AMD, I guess you could buy this. But I think the value in the 9070 XT is much better than the 5070 Ti. All right, now let's go to the 5070. Again, with the 5070 Ti, uh, we're calling these mid-range. I can't believe I'm saying 500 to 750 is mid-range, but it's where we're at. Uh, there's a lot of stock of these around, although I do... See the 5070 rising in price? You can't really get sub uh, $500 5070s anymore. I definitely saw some for the Black Friday deals. I know they're not listed here and it kind of looks like they're going down from a month ago, which technically they are, but we had some Black Friday SKUs that kind of messed it up. So if you're in the market for a 5070 or 5070 Ti, uh, I would try to convince you to go AMD. Uh, but I would tell you that right now the supply of those seems okay and you don't really need to rush out and buy those. Now, the next batch is, is where it gets interesting. The 5060 Ti 16 gig. Prices are going up. Prices were relatively cheap before, but they're definitely going up a little bit. Like, uh, I guess on Amazon they're technically going down, but every other retailer they're going up. And I'm seeing a lot less open box deals, which means you have a lot of people buying these. And this kind of makes sense as mega size GPU said we'd see a shortage of these and they are in demand for the AI sector. So if you want a 5060 Ti 16 gig, I would definitely recommend buying it now before the prices do go up. Now, this one is the one that I find incredibly interesting. The 5060 Ti 8 gig. I've done videos on it and I've said it's a fantastic card. The prices are going up on them. And something I'm seeing at Micro Center is they basically don't have them in stock which is really interesting. Uh, one thing that I've kind of thought about is that with the prices of RAM being where they're at, I think people are taking the extra one to two to $300 they're spending on RAM and they're taking that money out of their GPU budget. And they're going for like something like a 5060 Ti 8 gig, which as I showed you compared to the 3060 Ti, it's a phenomenal upgrade. But I find it interesting. And I also find it interesting that the 5060 8 gig is going up in value. Although I wouldn't buy that one. I would skip that one. But it looks like the 5060 Ti 8GB stock is going to run out a lot sooner than people think because it seems to be the sweet spot of where to put your money when you when you have to take, like, when you spend more money on RAM, the budget, you have to cut from somewhere else and people are cutting from the GPU. So, like, if you were going to buy a 5070 before, you're now buying a 5060 Ti 8GB or 16GB, which not a bad price. So you're seeing erosion in the high end and in the low end of the market, which, you know, it's not like the sky is falling right now, but the signs are here. What I said a month ago is actually happening and coming to fruition. So we are seeing the cracks in the market. Now let's go to AMD, right? So with AMD, you're looking at the 9070 XT at, you know, 
580 at Micro Center, but if you're not a Micro Center, the cheapest you're going to get it now is about 620. So MSRP 9070 XTs are gone, unless you're a Micro Center. Um, you know, we're pretty close with $20 off. What I'm telling you though is buy these now. This is a better value than the 5070 Ti. It's like the same as raster, and it's ray tracing is basically like the 5070. There is no reason to buy the 5070 or the 5070 Ti when you have the 9070 and the 9070 XT. And the 9070 non-XT, you can overclock pretty well as well. It's, it's pretty highly binned, just like the 5080 is. So those are my can't miss, must buy picks. Now when we get to the 9060, XT 16 gig and 8 gig, we're seeing the same thing. The prices of these models are going up and they're going up drastically. Essentially, those models, like the AMD minus $50 price, it, it makes sense, especially with RAM prices the way they are. So you're seeing a lot of people go to the 9060 XT 8 gig and the 16 gig. Uh, I have not tested them yet, but I have some tests coming up with both of these models that I can't wait to share with you guys. And again, you're seeing low stock on the 8 gig model. So I, I, think a, I think AMD is the thing to buy right now, right? Like to, to reiterate basically for the AMD side, buy the 9070 XT while you can before the price goes up because it will go up. So you should buy it now. Um, I think what you're gonna see is you're gonna see AMD get scooped up and then once AMD goes up in price, you're gonna see people pivot to the 5070 and the 5070 Ti, which I think are worst value cards. And then I think once those go up, I think that's the ball game. But right now, I think you're gonna. I think the 5090 at $2,500 is a no-brainer. The 5080 at $1,000 is a no-brainer. And then I think you skip the 5070 and the 5070 Ti. And then I think if you can get the 9070 XT for 620, I think that's a no-brainer. And then I think the 9070 at 520, if you need to save that $100, you can basically overclock yourself into a 9070 XT. So that's a great buy. And then I think the 16 and 8 gig 9060 XTs are also phenomenal buys. I would buy those over the 5060 Ti 8 and 16 gig, but if you're within like $30, I would probably just buy the NVIDIA model. It really just, honestly, it just depends. But I'm telling you guys, there are cracks in the armor. As I've already said, and I'll repeat it one more time, I think this is how things are going to go. You're going to see the 5080 and the 5090 cheap models dry up. And then you're going to see people either decide they're going to spend a ton of money or they're going to move to the used market, which has plenty of problems right now. And then you're going to see people pivot to AMD because the 9070 XT is a phenomenal card. Once that hits the seven to $800 mark, there's no reason to buy it. And then you're going to see people pivot to the 5070 and the 5070 TIs. And once those go up, that's the ball game. I would expect we could see a 25 to 30% increase across the board in all graphics cards. Am I going to be right? I don't know, but I would think that that's what we could realistically see. Now, it depends on how fast supply gets bought up. You know, it depends if we have system builders taking advantage of supply now, PC flippers, stuff like that. Because we are quickly approaching the point where it's literally cheaper to buy a pre-built PC or like a PC from a site like Jawa or like from a flipper or from someone on Facebook Marketplace than it is to build your own. So we are quickly hitting an inflection point in the new market. Like I said, honestly, the prices are pretty solid right now, but there are cracks in the armor and these prices are good on the surface, but they could quickly, quickly go downhill as you are already seeing that we have low stock of the 8 gig models, which ironically other text tubers told you not to buy, but they are well positioned in the marketplace, especially with RAM going through the roof. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Again, these are just my opinion. I could totally be wrong on this stuff. I don't think I am, but I could be wrong. So take it for what it's worth, but I'm gonna reemphasize. If, if you have the means to buy, buy now because we're seeing problems on the high end and the low end and once we see problems there problems will come to the mid-range that's it for this one thank you for watching please like and subscribe peace out